Today, I'm going to show you how I made this Mandalorian rifle. I am by no means a Star Wars fan, but come on, the Mandalorian looks cool. And to grasp a fraction of his coolness in real life, I've decided to build his rifle. Now this is going to be a prop rifle so it won't do anything other than look cool, but it's still going to be super fun to make. As with most of my projects, I'm going to be making it out of 3D printed pieces, so uh, why don't we make those first? Now I have little to no skill when it comes to designing things in 3 dimensions, but luckily a Thingiverse user by the name of Oddworks has already modeled it up and made it free to download. As with most free models though, it's not completely screen accurate, but for me, I think it's close enough. I'm going to print the gun in pieces with PLA. I'll use a layer height of 0.2mm so I don't have to do as much post-processing. All I do is slice the model in Kira and send the G-code off to my printer. Alrighty, I finally have all of the pieces printed, and this was actually a lot of work. It took me like five minutes. Anyways, there's still a lot of work to do. As you can see, the gun is in pieces, and it's not painted. So what I've gone ahead and done is removed all of the stringing and all of the support, but as you can hear, the layer lines are still really rough. So what I'm going to do before I glue it together is thoroughly sand each individual piece. Alrighty, I know I said I was going to glue them together right after I sanded them, but because these pieces are so detailed and this gun is so long, if I glued it together, it'd be really hard to work on. So I think I'm going to continue to work on these layer lines and glue it together a little later. So right now all of the layer lines are looking pretty good, but there's still a couple of areas that I need to work on, so I'm going to grab some really thick filler primer and spray all these pieces, and then I'll sand it down again.
Alrighty, the time is now when we can glue it together. So I'm going to be sticking this all together with E6000. You can see I have it laid out here. And this is actually a unique model because inside here are all these different pieces that help uh, align it together and make it a little stronger. So I'm just going to cover them all with some glue, stick it together, and then I'll leave it to dry overnight. So I glued it together last night and I let it dry overnight. Now it's all in one piece and man, it is looking really good. I am super happy with how this is looking. But now I've got to fill in the gaps where I glued it together and I'm just gonna use some more spot putty for that. Now obviously I have to sand this all down again, and I think I'll actually give it one more layer of filler primer and sanding, and then I'll be able to do paint. Now the 3D printed pieces are ready to be painted. The first thing I'm going to do is a base coat of black. Alrighty, so as you can tell, I have a very high production value. So anyways, right now the gun is painted mostly black. This part isn't painted yet because it's going to be a different color later. So what I'm going to work on now is from here over. And a lot of this gun is silver, but the first thing I'm going to do is a couple of the black sections. I believe here, here, and like in here, it's supposed to be black. Um, it's not going to be completely black. I'm just going to do a really, really watered down silver. And to do the color, I have this really cheap airbrush on top of a like full compressor. And I'm just going to be using some dollar paints. Just some dollar paints from the craft store, and I'm going to be watering it down with some isotropal alcohol. And the first bits I'm going to do are really, really light.
Alright, so I got the shiny silver rebits done. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I... Right here, I've got some gold and some silver rub and buff. With the silver, I'm just gonna put some on my finger and go over all of the edges to give that kind of like a weathered look, you know? I'm gonna do some here and all the way up here at the top. And then with the gold, there's a couple of gold bits. This, this, one of these things, some something in here is gonna be gold, and that's what I'm gonna use that for. I'm gonna start with the gold. Good right now but I'm just gonna add a little bit of weathering so I'm just gonna grab some black and brown paint acrylic paint water it down a bit apply it to the gun and then kind of wipe it off with the cloth just to make it look like it's been used a little more so that's what I'm gonna do now Something I'm really happy they included in this model is this little mechanism at the top, which allows you to take the magazine out. And it's just this little piece, and I put a spring on the end so it's spring loaded. And you see, it just slips in like that. You hold it with your thumb, you put the magazine in. And also, I used a little screw there and put the trigger in, and there's a spring inside there as well. So, the trigger actually moves back and forth and is spring loaded. And I think now that I finished that, the gun is completely done. This 
is by far the best prop I've ever made. There's just so many different painting techniques that went into it, and it really shows. Like, I'm surprised you could get a look this good with dollar paint and a cheap airbrush. Not to mention, this end over here, the different layers of paint really look like the oxide layer that forms on metal after it's been heated up. And also on this end, I'm super happy with this look. As you saw, I didn't even use paint, I used wood stain that I brushed on, and it actually looks like wood, like the colors are perfect. Overall, this is a fantastic model to print. If you want to make something similar to this, I've linked all of the models, tutorials, and resources that I found helpful in the video description below. But with that, we've come to the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, then be sure to hit the like button, and if you want to know when more videos like this are made, then be sure to hit subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about anything I did in the video, or if you just want to say hi, then be sure to write a comment below. I'm Nathan, and I'll see you next time.